like everything. Thousands of people dancing in uniform. Almost 8 million pints of beer. A mozy, a mozy, repeating again and again to cheers and clinking. An event so electric and enduring that even Albert Einstein worked here in 1896. As this is our first Oktoberfest, we had many mistakes. This story is filled with failed missions, good-natured beer-induced humor, and lessons about the history of this significant event. Day two of Oktoberfest. We are on our way right now, walking up the date night. Now tonight's Oktoberfest is gonna be a little bit different than yesterday's. Yesterday we went and hung out with our friends, we had pretzels, we had beer, we had good times, but today we're on a mission. We're actually gonna to try to take you to every single tent in Oktoberfest. We clearly failed in this mission, but let's rewind and tell you what we did in Munich before we got this crazy idea in our heads. Rat House Glockenspiel. Ringing at 11 a.m. and 12 p.m., this clock reenacts scenes from Munich's history. First, the famed marriage of Duke Wilhelm V to Renata of Lorraine. Second, the Copper's Dance, signifying the end of a plague in 1517. It is a masterful piece of art and impressive to think it's been going off since 1908. Near the Glockenspiel, there are tons of markets and vendors. It's a great place to stop by and enjoy lunch or try some delicious German food. And it's really convenient because it's on the way to the next activity. After finishing lunch, you can head to the year-round surfing in Eichpegwil. Just a short 20 minute walk away, an amazing spectacle to witness, or if you're more skilled than we are, an amazing spectacle to participate in. Finally, the Haus der Kunst Art Museum, an old Nazi showcase from 1937. The massive building was used by the American Army after World War II before being transformed into an international center for modern art and contemporary art exhibitions. Now, it's time for beer. But first, we gotta eat some burritos. The original Oktoberfest took place in 1810 to celebrate the wedding of the Bavarian king. The king invited the entire city to attend the celebration, and every year since then, this celebration has grown. Today, the event runs for 16 days, beginning mid-September and continuing until the first Sunday of October. We were here opening week. We started off a little too strong. We walk in, there are people on tables. There's a rock band playing Oktoberfest rock music. Yeah, we go to the second floor, we're overlooking the party. We get a beer, we say, hey, can we have one beer? Guy turns around, picks it up, slides it in front of us. Easy transaction. <laughs> it was pretty it was good. good. It was like a wheat citrus kind of beer. Big success. Nine out of ten? Would you like to be in it? Every tent is decorated differently. From the ceiling decor to the details on the walls and the placement of the stage for live music. Each tent also has a signature beer and different styles of live music. Some more classical, some rock, some modern music. One thing that every tent had in common though, it was a party. Number two, we started off too strong with tent number one. This one we walked in, a lot of people, it's probably twice the size, Plus just as packed. Bright lights, hard to find a beer, although the beers did look bigger. They, they had the big steins. But we walked around for 10 minutes, we couldn't find a beer. Yeah, to the next one. To the next one. With each tent being so different, it's important to call out the differences of visiting during the day versus night. During the day, it's crowded, but pretty tame. At night, standing on the table seems to be pretty normal. So much beer had already been spilt on the chairs that you couldn't sit down. So if you can't stand on a table while holding a beer, going early in the day is probably a better option for you. Okay, tent number three. That one was nuts. Even more nuts than tent number two. It was wild. It was packed. The music was really good. You, you could tell the energy was there. It was fun. Definitely one where you need a reservation. Oh yeah, 
Uh, there was no it's place a to Monday sit. Monday night, and it was insane. No place to sit. Yeah, but but it good. looked like a good yeah. time. I would definitely wish we could have spent more I'd time. I put that high on the list if, if I had known. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This was the tent where we made our first friends. They were all from Germany and extremely welcoming to us. They did tell us that it's probably best not to buy the cheap outfits on Amazon for Oktoberfest. It didn't seem to stop us from making any friends, but we did feel a little underdressed for the event. Alright, we're leaving tent number four. Four was the, the best. best. Number one tent so far. Yeah, absolutely. They had a band, they, it was a, it was a perfect and atmosphere. And we just went to these strangers to be like, hi, can we sit at the table? I think what we realized, it does not matter what tent you go to. Except this one's the best. This one is the best. But, like, at the end of the day, you just walk around and you go into a tent, you buy with it, you don't buy with it, you go to the next one, and until you find one that you're like, okay, I found a seat and I'm enjoying the music and I like the atmosphere, great. And if not, there's another one. There's 17 of them. Yeah. So, do not stress about the tent. No. The second thing, we do have a big group, come in the morning and in the late afternoon because it's a little less crowded, but at nighttime, like, just show up, you're going to have a great time. It really doesn't matter what tent you go to. But off to tent number cinco, cinco which is not, not German. All right, we came to this one yesterday, but we're doing a recheck. Look, if you're coming with a big group at night, outside tables are vacant. They are empty. Last room. You're not in the tent, but you get to sit with your friends, have beer, and probably better service too. So that one was pretty great too. We didn't spend a lot of time in it. It was crowded and we have a lot of tents to hit. But great music, good atmosphere, super packed. Everybody was in a good mood. And they still and are serving chicken at like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, and if you really want to go there, you can sit outside because there's tons of tables. So if you've got a huge party, it's not a problem. No, and good if you man. go inside, I'm sure you can just like hang out with a couple people and be like, hey, we're partying too. Can you sit at your table? So 100%. That one was good. We go back. We, they're all good. All good. To our surprise, the music was a good mix of German and English music. Each and every song was played with a large harmony from the crowd. We sang along when we could. My personal favorite was hearing 99 Red Balloons, or 99 Luft Balloons in German, and going absolutely wild. I love that song. Why we thought we could visit every tent is beyond us. We didn't have the time, the cash, or the heavyweight beer drinking championship belt needed to accomplish this goal. We ended the night visiting around eight tents. We sadly lost count and so did our camera. Which tent was our favorite? Honestly, all of them. This event left us grinning. A true adult Disneyland, a must experience party that's been enduring for over 200 years and hopefully endures for 200 more. All right, so we just, we just left this tent. It is the best one yet. It turns out the longer you stay here, the more fun the tents are. <laughs> It's great, like everything. <laughs> we are down to our final nine heroes. No, Oktoberfest is a cash only event, which means you run out of cash, you run out of fun. I think we should get chocolate. I think we should get a beer. What do you think? <laughs> We're gonna get chocolate. It's for beer. sure. I like no, I want no more chocolate. Look, it's right there.